What up fam, welcome back to 88-Bit Tech. I've got something really exciting for you today. We're testing FSR4 on an RX 7800 XT in a game that doesn't support FSR. We are running that RX 7800 XT with a Ryzen 7 7700 8 core 16 threaded CPU that's boosted up to or overclocked to 5.5 gigahertz. We have 32 gigabytes in dual channel of CL30 6000 mega transfer RAM. We're playing the game off a Samsung 980 Pro M.2 NVMe SSD. And the graphics card you have there is the RX 7800 XT that we do have overclocked with a 15% a max boost to the overall power limit. A very small 50 millivolt undervolt with a 100 megahertz overclock. Let's take a look at our settings here. We are running the Epic preset with XCSS set to balanced and the resolution scale at 58% there. You normally won't see this because I am running an RX 7800 XT, but I'm spoofing it using OptiScaler. We've got 1440p resolution, VSync is disabled, and all of this extra stuff is disabled, but we do have the Epic settings. If you can, so if you can take a look at Lune's hair here, it is it is very grainy and pixelated. The image is definitely not stable. You can also see that in the grass itself. If you take a close look at the grass and the foliage, it's a very grainy image. Although the art style for Claire Obscure does kind of work in this game's favor because it still looks amazing even using XCSS balanced with uh, with the graininess. Look at the foliage here, the trees, they kind of, it has this weird kind of garbling effect uh, due to this upscaler. But it's definitely most prominent in the hair. And if we take a look at her pendant, it is also doing the same thing. You can see the garbling even in distant objects as well. Now, we are getting just shy, just about 60 FPS with the XESS in balanced mode. Let's get FSR enabled on here. Let's change the settings. So we don't actually have an NVIDIA graphics card, but you're going to notice DLSS is enabled here. And I'm actually going to set this to performance, so we're running it at a lower resolution scale, so this will be upscaling from 720p up to 1440p. We're going to enable NV uh, NVIDIA frame generation to 2x and set this to boost. So with OptiScaler, this essentially is overriding the DLS commands and, and injecting AMD's algorithms and methodologies into this. So instead of reflex, this is anti-lag 2, and this is uh, frame generation, AMD frame generation. We're going to go ahead and apply that. Look at that. We get a huge boost in FPS. We're now at 120 frames per second. But the image, you'll notice, is still grainy overall. Like the hair is still really grainy, the foliage is still really grainy. The trees there are really kind of garbled and grainy as well. So what we need to do is open up OptiScaler. We need to change this to FSR 3.x, change the upscaler. Now you're gonna be able to choose from here what type of scaling you want to use. So we're going to use FSR 4.0 and the latest model, which is model 5. Save the INI. We do also have DLSS. Current DLSS state is on, so we're running frame generation or FSR frame generation. Now we're still getting pretty much the exact same, uh, maybe a little bit less, just a little less FPS, but look at Lune's hair. 
way more smooth. And then look at the grass and the foliage here. It's a much more stable image. It's not so garbled anymore. Look at the, the leaves above Gustav here. It's a much more coherent image. It looks great. And this is on a 7800 XT, previous generation model of AMD graphics card on a game that doesn't even support FSR in the first place. looks so good. FSR 4 looks and works fairly well uh, in its first iteration on the RX 7800 XT. Now remember, I did say that in the settings here, we are running DLSS performance. So we're upscaling from uh, half the resolution. There's a reason for this, and that's because the OptiScaler implementation of FSR 4 for this particular game is uh, a bit buggy. If you try to run balance, you're going to encounter a bunch of graphical issues with like uh, white flashes across the screen and definitely shizer inducing type of flashing uh, in balance with the balance preset. Fortunately, the performance and the balance, they're very, very similar in visual fidelity. So doesn't actually hurt to go to performance mode, and that's what I play at. But even in performance mode, OptiScaler FSR 4 in this particular game still has graphical issues in cutscenes. You're gonna get, it's gonna flash, uh, you're gonna get flashes of white on the screen and maybe even some like black, just blank images during cutscenes, which is really unfortunate because the this game is all story. I mean, it has amazing gameplay, but it's really about the story in this, and it has an amazing story, so I would not recommend running FSR 4 on this game unless you already know what the story is going to be like. So I'm, I'm running, I've already beaten the game, this is New Game Plus, so I don't, I mean you can still see, it flashes a little bit in cutscenes, but I've already pretty much seen the cutscenes, so I don't care as much. Um, my initial playthrough, all I did was I installed the XESS SDK to be able to get uh, XESS frame generation on here. And it works really, it works quite well, especially if you cap the frames, you will have pretty much very little latency in a game where timing matters. I didn't have any issue beating the game or beating the majority of the bosses, uh, even some of the most difficult ones running frame generation in this game. So. I would highly recommend definitely beating the game first before trying to play around with FSR 4. Hopefully AMD comes out with a, a proper implementation of this or OptiScaler updates the uh, this particular game to fix those graphical bugs. But yeah, definitely worth taking, taking a look. The 7800 XT can run FSR 4 in a game that doesn't support FSR 4 and it does it really well. If you got any comments or questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, I do plan on testing my RX 7800 XT against my, R, uh, my RX 9060 XT 16GB as well as my RX 6950 XT and just to see how they compare to each other. Uh, that is going to be a long ways down the road for now. We've got FSR 4 working in Claire Obscure Expedition 33.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.